Hey there, Gavin Gear here from Ultimate Reloader. I'm talking to Cameron from Kimber. Cameron is on the sales team. Now, when you think of Kimber, you're probably thinking what? We think of Kimber, you're thinking what all guns should be. <laughs> you're pro but you're probably thinking about a 1911. 1911 is usually what people associate Kimber with. Yep. Yep. But uh, these revolvers caught my eye. Now tell me about K Kimber's revolver lineup, how it came to be, what they're all about. Yeah, so you know, 2016, we introduced the uh, K6S lineup. And uh, people are like, revolver's been around a long time. Why would you want to do a revolver? And we thought that we could do something a little bit different uh, that hadn't been out there before. So six-shot cylinder and a five-shot frame. So that was the big thing. And, you know, If you look at some of our competition, they didn't have that. Uh, and then having a non-stacking trigger, which kind of set things apart. So you know that concealed carry side of the house, that's where we introduced it, was to fit that niche because people are really looking for something a little bit, you know, one, one round more doesn't sound like much when you're talking revolvers. That's a that's a big thing to have. Definitely, because with the revolver, that's kind of one of your limitations is is capacity. But uh, y you can't get a more simple user interface and something that's most likely to go bang every time. Well, that's the beautiful thing is the simplicity and it. it's the original point and click, so it just works. If it's loaded up, ready to go, it's just easy to use. You know, that stressful environment, you know, it's going to run. And so, for people that are fans of Kimber 1911s, you know, tell me about how the overall Kimber product quality, philosophy, made in the USA, all that stuff. Tell me how that translates over to the revolver lineup, maybe even the aesthetic. Sure, that's no problem. One of the things that Kimber's known for is trigger, uh, and also having a very good looking gun, a functional gun. And so that we wanted to take those same things that Kimber was known to have and put them into this revolver lineup. And so when you start looking at these, I'm just gonna grab one of these right here. When you start looking at them, when you look at this firearm, you'll see it's very clean looking. Uh, it's, it's, it's very streamlined look to it, and it's got this brushed stainless finish on there that's a very, very sharp looking finish. But outside of that, like I said, we have the six shot cylinder and a five shot frame if you look at uh, our competition that. The trigger in this is really fantastic. I know we had spent a little time just going over that trigger, mm -hmm. but um, in, in a double action trigger, most, of, most revolvers out there, you're gonna have a stacking trigger. So it's going to build, as you pull that trigger, it's going to build that pressure up before it hits the wall and breaks. Uh, here, this is smooth all the way through, a non-stacking trigger. So we tried to incorporate something from having a really nice trigger in 1911. How can we make the trigger in that revolver stand out from the competition? And that's what you're looking for in a defensive scenario, something that is maybe heavy but very consistent, something that is going to work under pressure. You don't have to think about it. Precisely. And that's people are always amazed that we go to a shoot because, you know, Double action, people are like, oh, I'm not usually as accurate double action, I am single. But because it's a non-stacking trigger, it's about nine and a half, ten and a half pounds, somewhere in there. But people are amazed at how it stages and uh, how easy it is to be on target, say 25, even to 50 yards, even though it's designed for much closer uh, use. From yeah, I think what would be really fun to do would be to put this on the trigger scan and actually get a picture yeah, of the trigger. That would be very, very cool to see because that's the thing. People that really like revolvers, they get in here, they start pulling that trigger back, and they're like, that's amazing. How much does this weigh? And it's like nine and a half pounds. But it, it's it's something that's not going to go off easy, like by accident, but it's going to go off easy enough just by pulling it. But you're not going to throw your shot um, because you're like worried about that, that pressure as it builds up before it breaks. The other thing I've learned recently about Kimber is the whole aspect of durability. You know, my, my defense guy, Guy Miner, hey, Guy, how's it going? He has 88,000 rounds or thereabout in his service weapon from being a Wenatchee police uh, instructor and defense instructor. And, yeah, he's had to replace a few parts, but, you know, does that translate? Are you expecting to see the same level of durability out of these revolvers? Yeah, definitely. So that was one of the things we want to make sure that, it was very, very durable because we wanted people to be able to have those experiences like we've seen with 1911s, law enforcement, other folks that have had these firearms for a long, long time, and they just they run crazy, crazy amounts of rounds through them, and people are always amazed. It's like it's like the high mileage truck somebody has or something. Like there's, It just gets a workhorse. It just keeps going. And so we wanted to do that, take that same principle philosophy and put it into the revolver, and we're getting people with high round counts now. Like, hey, you know, it's, they send us letters, hey, this is amazing the amount of rounds we're putting through this thing. Yeah, and you know, Guy Miner and I just talked about the whole revolver versus semi-auto for home defense, and one of the one of the biggest criteria that you're looking at is dependability. It's got to go bang every time. Yeah. Um, so the other thing that comes to mind for me right away is just, and I'll, I'll show you guys this up close, is the fit and finish and the quality. I, this, this looks like a USA made product. I love this brushed stainless finish. I mean, and then the grips, down to the finest detail, 
this is this is quality construction. That's that's something we really wanted to. Oh, that's uh, that's something. I'm breaking your stand apart here. <laughs> it goes bang even when you don't want it to. Right? I'm just kidding. But uh, that's something that um, we really pride ourselves on. Is like I said, it's a very clean looking firearm. I kind of look at it like this. This is kind of how I told the guys that work behind the counter selling our product. I said, this is how I approach this firearm. I said, it's like you got one of our competition's revolvers, and they make a great product, but they you sent it into your gunsmith that you like. You added a six-shot cylinder to it. You know, we've, we've got recessed cylinder on there so you could run a moon clip on that. I saw that. Yeah, everything's beveled on this. It's all smoothed out. Now, the double axis, single axis, got the hammer uh, exposed on that, but even on... This double action only. Everything's just smoothed out, so it's supposed to be snag free. Everything's beveled, angled on that, and so we tried to make everything as smooth as possible, but also to give it that same Kimber-esque look that we get out of our 1911s. That what we're known for is that fit and finish, mm -hmm. and we tried to make that you know transcend from 1911 into the case success. The big question is, what do you all think? Do you want to see these Kimber revolvers? Do you want to see a trigger scan? Do you want to see them go through maybe a little bit of a torture test? I really like these things. So if you want to see it, drop a comment. Let us know which one you'd want to see. And uh, I just want to thank you, Cameron, for letting me talk to you here at the show. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, and uh, lots more SHOT Show 2019 content coming up, so make sure you're subscribed with notifications. Till next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.